And that's the whole point. And that's the, that's the skill of the people. Like, there is no one better in the business at selling a fake laugh than Jimmy, the, the, the guy that plays the, the dame. Yes, yeah. He is the king of the cod. Mm -hmm. like, so it's like a cod laugh. Like, if you, if you, if you, you would be convinced he's laughing for real. Mm -hmm. And he is, he's, just, he's just pretending to laugh. It is unreal. He is so good at it. He will make you believe that it's, he's found it hilarious when he has seen it 56 times already. Really? Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. he's, I've never met, seen his, his match for that. Like, he's, yeah. he's great. But yeah, sometimes it goes wrong for real. And the biggest mistake you, I feel like people make, and I have made it, but I don't do it anymore because I've realized, is that you make a mistake and you go, oh, that went down really well, that's really funny. I'm going to do that again. You do it again, it's not funny. Never the same. Because mm -hmm. you, you can't recreate it in the same way. Mm -hmm. It's not been rehearsed properly. It's, not it's quite dangerous to do that as well, yeah. isn't it? Uh, depends on for the rest of the dangerous in the sense of for the rest of the show and depends on, depends on depends on what it is but mm -hmm. like if it's like you know I dropped I dropped a, a fake spanner mm -hmm. and I, I did actually drop it and obviously it's made of foam so it bounced and yeah. you know I pretended it hurt my foot and that got a laugh because it was obviously fake and I was like oh that'd be funny I tried to do it again it just you got nothing and I was like ah that's that was wrong just it didn't go wrong yeah. stick to what is stick what to what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, but I have the license to like try these things out because I'm always I I always but certainly with pantomime I'm always trying to mine for laughs. Like I'm going, can I? How funny can we make this show? Mm -hmm. And then if I find something that's funny, it stays, and then it will never change because they go, cool, that they are enjoy, enjoying that. That's all that matters. Cool. Can I make this line funnier? No. Nope. Can't, it doesn't matter what I do with it, it doesn't really get a laugh. Cool, just play it, just to get, just do it. Like, so you're always assessing the situation. You're, you're, 100%. and you're, you're, I think that's the beauty of a panto that it can, like you say, it's evolved over all the years, but you can continue to evolve it over one, one show. Yeah, you? yeah, 100%. Like, it, the, the pantomime is different. Like, my parents come and see it uh, on, on opening night, they see it on closing night, and they mm -hmm. see it uh, times in between, and it, it, they say, oh, it's changed, oh, it's picked up. It's like any, any production, you get more comfortable with it, yes, so yeah. everyone's a little bit more mm -hmm. relaxed. So that's the first stage. But then yeah. it's like, it's just trying, it's just like, you know, there's done nothing worse than the, the last tech before we open a pantomime for the comic, like for the comic, for the dame, people that need reactive. Like I talk to the audience all the way through the show. I'm like, they kind of guide through it, mm -hmm. essentially, because everyone else is sort of just doing this plot because we're only really like, you know, normally the comic and the dame are so rarely in the versions. They're not really in the, they're not characters that are in the versions that you would see in the Disney versions or the fairy tale. They're added in mm. basically to be the audience friends and to be able to add the comedy and trying to perform jokes to people that have seen it now six or seven times and there's only eight people out there and you're going, hello everybody! And they're like, hello. And it's just like, it's draining because yeah, you've sure. got like you like you rightly said earlier about like just something as simple as being dressed as a mummy or or a troll or whatever it is and feeding off of that. Mm. That's feeding what I'm, that feed, feed, I'm mm. getting nothing back. So you're trying to give them this is what I'm going to do when we have an audience. But it's like it's so reactive. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If someone if something likes something, you can lean into it. If, so, if they don't give you a reaction, you move on. And it's so hard. By the last tech, you're like. Oh my god, is this even funny? Oh my god, am I? The, I'm the worst comic in the world. This is just, this is just awful. And then you get to open it and I go, oh, okay, cool. They are laughing. It does work. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is okay. Great. Mm. But yeah, I mean, it's like everyone. Everyone doubts. You, know, you have those doubts when you open it. Like, is this actually any good? Like, mm. is this funny? Like, is this the, is this the end you of the run? You start to question it and start to question. You. Do you question yourself? Always. Mm. Always. Like, because you're super confident, obviously. Oh, I mean, you know, <laughs> doing, the, doing that role. Yeah, you're confident than the most. Would you say? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not. I'm, that's that's the perception. What's the yeah, truth? Yeah, that's the No, I'm not a confident person. I I am like riddled with self doubt. But then that makes me strive to want to. Like, I don't. I, I never rest on my laurels. I just assume. I I, I will assume that the next one's going to be the failure. Mm. Like, I've been lucky. Uh, lucky. You could say it's luck. Could say it's hard work or a bit of both like I have I've had good reception for all the things that I have done but you're only as good as your last thing do you know what I mean so like if I go out and the next show I do is not 
the well received, then that's what those people are going to go away and oh, he's, mm -hmm. he's lost it. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm terrified of that.